It's my seat, bitch. Get your ass out the cane's chair now. Man, just be you. Oh, this could be at your house. Yeah, I got to yeah, 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 yeah. Because I respect your rule when you had your little funky ass chair. Now, that's my funky ass chair. Get your funky ass up. <laughs> Oh, my <laughs> hey, why you gotta put it like that? <laughs> why you gotta put it like that? <laughs> I thought people bring respect to the shit. They were like, I respect your shit. Yeah, like, you yeah. respect mine? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess I can. Because we love you so much. I'm just saying. I, I guess I could be a real person. Uh, because we know, boy. We don't get out that chair. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have to wrestle your ass. Motherfucker better get out of my shit. Ain't nobody. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> big greasy ass. We ain't six seven no more. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Now we fuck around get the rest of me to hurt or something, then we gotta go to the spill. Bitch, we was six seven. <laughs> we was six seven when you hurt me. <laughs> I ain't forgot we was six seven when you hurt me. Well, we were, we were, we were I did eight not hurt nine. You. I did not hurt you. You, you fell on my back crush for real. On accident. On accident. That's because you threw the cover over my head. I couldn't see it. Nigga, the cover was over everybody's motherfucking head. Nigga, we were playing blind. We were playing ghost wrestlers with our stupid ass. I guess I can't blame you too much. But, God, know, but damn it, I gotta blame somebody. You let me do it. I ain't let you do shit. I couldn't see neither. <laughs> somebody I let you motherfucking do it. You did let me do it. Oh, hell no. You supposed to move. Then remember that time? How I'm supposed to know it's coming? Huh? How I'm supposed to know it's coming? I can't see. Man, because, bro, I don't know. I was six. I don't know. All I know, I lost my balance. And I was like, oh, shit. All I know is you trying to take me a bottle there. Yeah, and mama was gone. So we could cuss. We was in our cussing. <laughs> like, oh, shit. My fucking rib, man. Oh, oh, my fucking rib. My bad, bro. No, man, you trying to fucking hurt me. I'm like, bro. <laughs> no, I didn't, bro. He's trying to take me out, bro. Well, I tried to take this funky ass out. No, bro. Accidents happen, bro. We were playing. My boy tried that bad. I forgave him, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, bro, because mm. I ain't trying to take yeah, my dog I, I out. I ain't sell, I ain't sell the basketball anymore, even more anyway. <laughs> That was my dog. Why would I try to take you out? We couldn't even play for a couple weeks. What you mean? Yeah, you know, I ain't fucking. Uh, yeah, I bro. Listen. I was like, damn, bro. We yeah, had played a video game. That was fun, but still, I was like, damn, nigga. And, and shout out to my parents for not being no pussies. I ain't go to no hospital. Yeah, oh. I shit just healed on the zone. <laughs> nah, nigga, you, you knew not to say nothing because we were going to get our ass whipped. That too. Yeah. Cause <laughs> Cause they we told, they told we us to stop been in fucking playing. We shouldn't have been in there playing like yeah, that. In the first damn play. We gonna get our ass with. We ain't say shit. Hey bro, don't tell it, bro. Please, please, bro. Shit. I'm fucking hurt though, bro. Alright, 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 bro. I'm gonna try to walk this shit off. <laughs> please, bro, walk it off, bro. We gonna get whooped, bro. So the guy. Walk that off, bro. Yeah. We gonna get whooped. There were two whoopers a piece too. Yeah, bro. My mama was gonna whoop us, then your mama was. My mama whoop. damn sure was. Oh, she damn sure was. Mine was too. My mama coming over there. Straight out the gate. What? I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? People who have been watching Fuck Y'all Fist, you know what I'm saying? You know that we used to get dual we ass whooped. Miss Mary be ready to whoop. Everybody cheering. That's why she don't come out the house. We used to get dual ass whoopers. I get my ass whooped at his house. She took Then I had to go time. home. And she'll send him with me so my mama can whoop both. Mama, her. why you stay in the house so much? Bitch, I got to be in the comfort of my own home because I be trying to whoop everybody else's cherry. So you can't do that. <laughs> what did she do? That's, 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 that's what she do. But then again, though, you know what's crazy? Her ass drove a, uh, a, little, a little Reese Transit bus to drop off the kids. She loved it. Loved every bit of it. All them kids respected Miss Mary Carr. <laughs> Cause they know it ain't no they game. They love Miss Mary when they jump in there. Ain't no game being played in that bitch. <laughs> Fuck that shit, bye. You gonna get the point A to point B safe. Everybody will keep their hands to themselves in this car. And they gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> too. And they gonna stay in the child's place. You better believe it. And we gonna have a good time, yeah. I'm 32 years old. I get around Miss Mary. Gotta stay in the child's place. Come on. Hey, I do it with your mama, too. I be bucking, though. I stay there. I be nah, you don't be bucking. A little bit. I'm like, 
I cuss a little bit. No, he I, don't. I say like, no, he don't. I say like no, one, he don't. I say like no, one cuss don't. word on accident. Now listen, listen to me. Let me finish. I say like one cuss word on accident, then I get checked, and then I be like, no, he don't. I ain't playing with Miss Mary. No he black. He black. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Mary. So he cuss. Cause he know. <laughs> he plays a little bit. He do. He do. He do. He do let it slip. He got that right. He let it slip. But he be like, oh, excuse me, man. I'm my sorry. Bad, bad. I'm sorry. And she be looking at him. She's like, all right now. She like, her eyes get out wide. She's like, ain't got no time. But mama, boy, I'm surprised she let you cuss now. Who, mama? Mm hmm. I can say any word, but you do. Because I remember, boy, we used to get toast for cussing. You just always catch us cussing it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I guess one day she just let it go. Like, this nigga don't cuss. He was like, she was like, I guess she figured, she was like, the way me and his daddy cuss, like, he ain't got no choice but cuss. Like, when my, like, when I catch my kids cuss, they'll look at me. I'd be like, I can't be mad. Because my daddy always tell me, you, you, you get mad at them kids when they start cussing either. Because. You and your damn, you and your damn cussing ass. Look, the nigga asked me one day, I'm cussing at work. I'm talking at work. He he gonna ask me. This is this is my father, by the way. He asked me, why the fuck you cuss so goddamn much? I said that. Did you just hear how you asked me that question? He was like, alright, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what you tell the man on the job? Which one? Huh? We was out there doing that fence over there. Um, oh, you talking about rolling up? Talking about, oh, y'all know y'all could just dig around them posts right there. What'd what you, you tell do? him? I say, hey, man, if you go straight up the street, you can get the fuck out of my business. And everybody started crying. Suck, suck it, damn. Nigga started crying. Hurt that nigga feelings. Feel is. And then look, 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 what on? What well, aunt say to you every time you get to talking shit? Oh, if you go right up the street, <laughs> you get the fuck out my bitch. Yeah, that dad, nigga with his own my shit. Dad says, I'll use my line and shit. Killing your ass with your own shit. Straight like that. Kill me. Boy, you ain't that nigga, boy, when it comes to your uncle, boy. boy. You stay on your uncle's side, boy. Yeah, boy, I don't care. I'm going to stay on that side, too. Because you old shit talking motherfucker on the job, too. Yeah, that boy it. don't never stop talking shit on the damn job. Fuck him. Always. Fuck everybody here. You, him, all of you. The fuck? Ain't shit. That's how that <laughs> motherfucker do. Motherfucker get on my motherfucking nerves. What I do know. Pop that damn lip. Bada, 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 bada. And work be getting done, too. Hey, bro, you seen, you seen, you seen your boy Kevin Sanders lately? No. Huh? Oh, bro, he went in. He went in on this chick, though. How y'all feel about, bro, man? I shit, I shit. I feel like they be speaking the truth. Shit, y'all act like he just be getting on women ass. Dog. What a fifty <clears throat> year old? A nigga, a nigga calling up there and he bombed on his ass too. She fitted. I'm sorry, Lisa. Good. Uh, you might have to grab the ball. What are you doing here? Hey, you see this? Uh, let me see this. Why, she, why is she looking like she's asleep? Okay. How you doing? All right. How are you? I'm on 50. I'm on 50 years old. I am. All right. Are you married? No. Oh, she wouldn't be yeah. going your own like that. She is married? Yeah. Yeah. Where the fuck she going to? What am I doing? I don't know. Mm-mm. So where's your husband? He's out. I don't believe you. You don't think so? <laughs> no. When'd you get married? He said what? When? When'd you get married? 2017. I've been married three times. Okay. How long have you been married this time? Hey. 2017. Mm -hmm. So why are you here then if you're married three times? I don't know. I just, I'm just here because... A lot of females disagree with you, and I actually disagree with a lot of stuff that you say as well. What do you know, like, eat that bitch up, eat that ass up, eat that ass up. It's like you make it seem like women who don't, you know, make as much money. Hold on. Here it is. Let me pull this. I should have used my iPhone 12. Um, 
to be, to be honest, I'm just here because a lot Big of females breaks. that I do speak with, they are, they're like totally against the fact that you say that they can't get a man of money. It's not too many straight men with money anymore anyway. So Whoa. they're not even looking for women. Whoa. A lot of them are not. They're not looking for hoes. Ah, get them, well, man. Get them, my nigga. No, it's really not. It's well, like, I mean, that's like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, don't come in here talking about men that have money aren't straight. Not looking for women. That's bullshit. <laughs> Big bullshit. What the fuck? Do you want this to go reasonably or do you want it to go left? Word. Let's take, let's take it away. Word. That's that. To the left, to the left. But it's okay for you to tell women. I'm that talking they, to you. Yeah, okay, you're talking to me. Talk. <laughs> Are you trying to, bitch? This is what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Disrespectful ass women. You think? Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think you're making. I mean, so, a lot of women, I, it's a lot of women who have bad I think you're making I think you're making it look even worse. No, I'm because I agree my, with you. I'm, I, I you agree know, with you on that part you, too. You came because here, there's a lot of. Came in here. Hey, there is this right here. Did she just say she here, don't agree with? This and this shit's all over the place. That's, Why? Now she agree no, with? No, I didn't really. I'm but just letting you. Know, maybe no, right. to be honest, you think no. You're coming here, no. You think you're coming here in good faith and respectfully? Yeah, definitely. Because this, I could, I this, could definitely this, speak this, different. This, this is, this is not okay, man. I've had to ask you this over the camera, steady, several times. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I'm having to hold the camera back, and I'm not used to doing that when I'm on live, so I don't understand why I have to hold it so far back because you can't. Because your face is all up in the camera, and it makes your face look yeah, fat. Like... And you're laying down. You're fifty. I <laughs> you're fifty. Oh, you did. Are you saying something? What do you disagree with? Boy. I mean, a lot of women disagree with you. I'm just telling you what, what you they disagree. feel like. I'm, talk, I'm asking you what you he said. She said oh, she's telling him what, what they feel like. like. Women, because they don't make enough money, they can't get certain men and stuff like that. Yeah, I do disagree with you. Hmm. When did I ever say that? You said it to several women, actually. No, you're actually 100% wrong. They want okay. up to their level. You ain't saying nothing about making no money. Anyway. This woman is actually trying to say that I've told women that if you don't make a certain amount of money, you can't have a certain amount of money. Everybody who's ever watched my content, just put hearts up to let this woman know how fucking wrong she is. <laughs> okay. Because I tell you, men don't care about your money. Hey, over and over. Over and oh, over. Oh, no, no, no. It's not the money. Over it's the way over. they look. That's, the, that's it. It's not the money. It's the way they look. Okay, yeah, because a lot of people have money. They're not concerned hearts. with that. Look at all the hearts. Bitch, you're wrong. Everybody's yeah. following the bandwagon. Of course they're going to get no, it. No, no, see, that's what you like to see. You're 50 years old, and instead of having a reasonable conversation, when people don't agree with you, they're following the bandwagon. You come in here, you make the wrong point on the wrong topic. Damn. What about the way they look? About their weight? I guess. I mean, I don't yeah, know. This bitch don't even know what she mad about no more. Weight on them with, she don't know what she mad about no more. I mean, I guess. I think, I think that's what I'm mad about. I think, man, he got to die. Boy, I don't know how, how they be doing Now, you understand. She basically tried to come in and say that the problem is men. The problem is there are not enough men with money who are straight looking for women. The problem is there are not enough men with money who are straight looking for women. Wrong. It's that many of you women are unfit for the men you're looking for. You're physically unfit, you're emotionally unfit, you're psychologically unfit, you're relationally unfit. Look out! Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You he's a successful man. My husband, you know what? I don't have to work. I'm okay. fine. I'm, and I look, I look young, so I'm not worried. And you, act even, and you act even younger. And I want to. Who wants to be? Who wants to look old or just like that? This is a damn shame. This is why women think they should be a fucking childish fifty year old. No one says fucking childish fifty year old. I'm sitting here looking at this. This is what black men have to pick from. So when you talk about I'm a he hates women, this that that boy is stupid. Boy, you gotta stop. He gotta stop catching them. He be catching them goofy ones. 
Hey, you seen when Char- you you seen when Charlemagne uh told on this here? Hey, bro, what's the thing with Kwame Brown? Hey, Kwame been snapping. You feel me? Like, what's the thing Kwame, with it though? Because he talk, people talk shit. Uh, Cause look, he was a bust or whatever. Yeah, Michael Jordan ruined Kwame Brown. It won't. It really wasn't Kwame Brown's fault that Kwame Brown was trash like he was. It was Michael Jordan's fault. Don't nobody want to admit that shit. Michael Jordan's fault when he went to the Wizards. Michael Jordan ruined that boy. Told that boy practice all this shit. Don't let the boy play till they down 20, then they blame the game on him. They did do that. Ain't blame shit on Mike. Mike fault. But now, Kwame was real personal shit. <laughs> he talking about how Derek Fish took this nigga wife, how this nigga old, he a blood, he owned a ass. He ain't even on no basketball shit, nigga. He on facts. Jesus Christo. He is on a A. For real. Kwame is on a A. <laughs> These niggas talk shit about basketball and shit. Mm-mm. Kwame said, I ain't that. Why your ass was out there trying to jump a motherfucking fence to your house that you motherfucking paid for? Nigga, you had a game next day. You could have got sprained neck. Your teammate got you. Derek Fisher took the nigga away. Big fish. <clears throat> Tell my Matt Barnes. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, D Fish was in there like, yeah, got the one. Yeah, put the put my ass out. Yeah, Matt Barnes went down there, whooped on his ass though. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> so Kwame might want to chill on that one. And he did do. Kwame said he want to smoke though. He did. Kwame said he want all the smoke. Damn. We shall see. Damn. Uh, I mean, I guess I guess he's just trying to get my podcast. But if that's what he doing, it's working. Straight right. shit talking, boy. Might work for the nigga. Who knows? Yeah. Talk shit. Talk about uh, Steve Jackson be paying for pussy and shit. And Steve Jackson responded was like, yeah, nigga. I've been in the club all the time, bitch. It ain't tricking if you got it. Yeah, I'll be in the club. I've been in the strip club all the time. Yeah, I don't I don't flew bitches out all that shit, nigga. That's what you do when you got it. I mean, you know Steve Jackson gonna tell the truth. Shit. Yeah, he's been telling his shit. Tell you the truth. Steve Jackson been telling his shit. He been the telling The funny part shit. of me, I had put Kwame Brown almost funny as his career. <laughs> you a trip, bro. Why the fuck you gonna do that, man? Like, because, bro, oh, he won't no baller, baller, but he could have been a lot better if it weren't for Michael Jordan. If he would have went anywhere else, yeah, and they could have molded him and let him, you know what I'm saying, come off the bench and get, you know what I'm saying, get some playtime and shit, Kwame Brown would have been a beast. Yeah. If you would have came straight to the like, yeah. it would have been a beast. Thank Michael you. Jordan ruined that nigga. Oh, Michael Jordan ruined that I ain't know. I ain't know. Michael I ain't Jordan. I ain't never seen the boy play basketball. I blame Kwame. Yeah, because of Michael Jordan. I, I blame know. Kwame Brown on Michael Jordan. This is all your fault, mm-hmm. Michael Jordan. You ball bitch. I don't. <laughs> I'm with you, though. Ball game. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but other than that, it's all your motherfucking fault. That's why I asked about it, because I ain't know nothing about the shit. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't know nothing about yeah, the shit. He was number one overall pick when the Washington Wizards. Yeah. So what? He was supposed to say Jordan career? Nah, they ain't got him to try to trade that nigga for Elton Brand. But it didn't happen. It ain't go. It ain't go through. And they kept Kwame and Michael ruined that boy. Here. Oh, Michael snapped. Man, they, they made that nigga do all that practice. They tell the nigga he can't play. Who? Michael told that nigga he can't play. Who? I'm crazy. I'd have whooped on that ball, bitch, ass that day. You a motherfucking liar. That's why I ain't make it. I'm going to tell you right now. That's exactly why I ain't make it. You can't play me like that. I can't beat, bro. No. Was, no. I'm going to tear was. your ass up. I'm telling you. I would have shot my ass. You straight. The go, the, the go, he, he can't, he ain't got these hands. Nah, nigga, you a man. Yeah, I'm going to tear so, your ass up. All that lip you got got consequences behind it. What? I done whooped his ass, the coach ass, anybody else that was touching on me, I done whooped uh, their ass. Everybody, everybody on planet Earth done been smacked or punched in their mouth for something that came out of it. Man, nigga, what? Everybody. He said he told that nigga do all that practice and did go tell him he can't play. Tell him too young, you got it. Earn your spot. Bing, 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 bing. Then, then, put him, <laughs> then put him in when they down 20 and then blame the game on him. I'd have been throwing jabs left, right, center. I'm that what Kobe change. did. That what Kobe did. Kobe fought Shaq. Yeah. Kobe shot the Shaq ass. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if he won or not, but he shot the Shaq ass. And Shaq respected it. Come on now. 
That's what Mike I mean. has. And you know he was bigger than Mike. He was just young. Waving. Damn, man. I'd have told, told that old nigga ass up. Mm. I'd have told him up for Reggie Miller. Lamb. Yeah. I'd have made lamb chops out of him. <laughs> and a goat, and a lamb, a baby goat. What? And a man. lamb, and a lamb, a baby goat. You can't tell me. I don't. Hey, look. This is kid. I'd make kid chops. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. You can't do no shit like that to me. I do all that motherfucking practice and you talking about I can't motherfucking play. Man, what? Like I'm a kid though. Like and I he was a kid with 18 with no, 18 years old. No, fuck that. Fuck that. When you ain't he no kid, kid, when you making goddamn checks, and you got people to feed. I'm a grown ass man, dog. I'm That's one thing he did do though. He took care of everything. That's what I'm saying. I'm about to tear your ass That's up. That's what he did though. That's what I'm not about to go back home and tell my folks that I did all this practice and this nigga said I couldn't play. He ain't even the coach. Look. <laughs> he ain't the GM. He, he watched out Michael Jordan. You know what your folks going to ask you? He's 23, 45, back to 23, Joe. Just imagine me coming back telling that story. Hey, bro. Mike said I couldn't hey, play. Now, look. If he, if he played on the Bulls, <laughs> I, I understand Mike said you couldn't play. Bitch, that was the Washington Wizards. Mike was gone. Man, Mike ain't gonna tell me shit. I don't give a fuck. I told Mike ass up on them bulls too. Straight like that. Straight like that. You think Dennis Rodman won't whoop it on his ass first? Oh, Dennis ain't get fucked. Come on now. I whoop Mike ass. You crazy as hell. On the bulls. Dennis ain't get no fuck. He on that bull shit. Whooped his ass. You hear me? Hey! <laughs> Mike yeah, ass would have been told. Damn. Crying face, Mike. Ass toe up. You hear me? <laughs> sorry. Ass so up in the bleach. Yeah, I like you as a basketball player, but as a man, I'm, I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah, you gotta feel this. You feel the thunder. Yeah. You gotta feel these. Yeah, be like this sometime for that nigga all the way in there. I'm gonna practice. If that nigga said I could get the game. Boy. Vic, what you do? I tore his ass up. Shot straight to it. That's why I ain't playing basketball no more. <laughs> Boy, we can go get something. I'd have been blackballed. Oh man, and then you, then look, bro. I seen a video with Uncle Luke calling hella niggas out, right? Uncle Luke, Uncle Luke. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, talking about how niggas ain't want to get him when he, um, when he got that, locked up and all that, that shit. That was fucked up when he was going through his case, niggas yeah. going through, like supporting niggas. Yeah. But he the reason why niggas can talk about what the fuck they he talk the first, about. He the first explicit ass the rapper, bro. He the first word that got that shit. And that nigga said he was going through them court cases. He said it was only a few people that really looked out for him. I was like, damn, that's crazy. You would think that everybody would look out for Uncle Luke. You feel me? Like, yo, that's crazy. You going through this, nigga. We support you. Here's some bread, bro. You feel yeah. me? Like, we all in the same game. If you accomplish this, then we all can say what the fuck we want to on these tracks. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because he went, he went through that legal shit. But you see how scared niggas be. Niggas be scared. Oh, I'm going to lose I'm gonna lose my shit like he did. Yeah. Scared as hell, bro. That scary shit ain't gonna run. You gotta stand up for your rights, my nigga. For, for real, shit, bro. For real. For real. And if you always got your mind, you ain't lose shit. You understand? Yeah, you nigga soft. <laughs> what about uh, nigga? Nigga, you gonna go to jail thirty days? You gonna lose your mind thirty days? Yeah, Bitch, I did. I did a thirty days and only ate bread and water. Bro, I'm trying. And oodles and noodles. I did. Yes. I did. Eat Listen, I ain't gonna tell you. I'm telling you. I ain't like eat none of the meals, though. I traded all my trades for who's new. I'm telling you like this. I ain't doing not a day. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Not a day. You hear me? Not a day. Not a day. I ain't doing not a day. You hear me? Uh, yeah, I ain't yeah. not even the boy that got me for a few hours. That was long enough. That was long enough. They had me in that hole to say, I'll give away all my shit. Take it, play. I ain't gonna be here long. My body ain't gonna be $150. <laughs> <laughs> you! My body! You feel me? This some bullshit I'm in here. <laughs> hey, but look, that's been another episode of Fuck Your Feelings and You Can Fuck Yourself. Bitch.